see if we're okay and we'll see if we've got the chipmunk voice today or not. We had it a couple times recently. We never know what causes that. And let me try to find this broadcast. Uh, for some reason I can't find it. Let me just refresh here. See if this puppy will come up. There she blows. Let's see what the audio sounds like. We've got some people in the chat already early. or early here. And we've got some people in the chat. And we are live. How is the audio? Can somebody let us know? Because I can't get it to load here. Can't get it to play for some reason. We're live. Hope everyone is having beautiful weather on this good Friday. Wonderful here in the Midwest. So, folks, can you let me know in the chat if we've got good audio? Our wag says, nice to have you on Tanzeal. Okay. Hi, everybody. Um, number one was Stig. David Williams was in the house early. And uh, let's see. Hi, everybody. Excellent audio, says our wags. Okay. And let's see what else. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I guess if you cough, I've everybody like panics that you've got you've got the thing man you've got you've got the virus oh well uh huge news chip wong got arrested i don't know if he got bailed out but i saw it on social media <laughs> saw it on social media so it's got to be true uh, we're going to talk about edc items this is going to be a continuation part two um and so i figured since we're going to be talking about some heavy duty edc items i would wear the heaviest duty shirt that i have this is made by willison geiger many many years ago late 70s i got this one and i remember when i bought this new this shirt it was 75 dollars this was in the late 70s that was a lot of money to pay for an off the rack shirt and i'll tell you what it has held up it's the last one I have left. I had a couple of them. It's the last one that I have left. So that's how that works. They don't always last forever. They last a long time. You get a lot of use out of these shirts, but they do not last forever. Now, if you see the button on the Apollo, let me move this out the side. See how they don't match the two buttons? Okay, this one over here, this button, you guys might recognize it. It is an extra button that came with a Burberry trench coat. Burberry trench coat. So that button got crushed or whatever and I replaced it myself. I, I put on this button myself and uh, that's how that works. Okay, so disappointed. I have to work in 15 minutes in Australia wearing my SBG and 005 stunner in the mine site today that's hard wearing right there <laughs> oh, absolutely my goodness yes that's a, and that's a robust watch that's a heavy duty piece Jaden's in the house he says hi to everybody Carlos is here today at this time it was the meeting that we had scheduled with Steve I hope we can do it soon yeah I hear you <clears throat> yeah I hope so too cheers Mike uh, from fellow 005 owner be safe at the mine site there you go and uh, stay safe everywhere hello everyone up north okay so so here's the thing we're going to talk about a couple of things we're going to talk about the heavy duty heavy use edc items and some of you you all that want a little bit of motivation in this time of of trial right if you want some motivation and cheat town says craig have you ever been caught in the rain with the diver on <laughs> yeah good question okay so talk about heavy use situations i watched on uh i believe it was on amazon i think amazon prime has this it's either amazon prime or netflix maybe they both have it but this is from the history channel this is the men the men who made america the men who built America, this, uh, this, uh, yeah, there it is. The men who built America, this series. It's really cool. About Andrew Carnegie, uh, Cornelius Vanderbilt, you know, the Commodore, they called him. And, of course, Rockefeller and the whole story of these guys. And I, I love that. 
I love it because you watch it and, and you know, it's the opposite of today's day and age, right? That this it was survival of the fittest, and the pansies were just you know crushed. You know the snowflakes they didn't last, right? I mean in those in those steel mills, for example, I mean people literally died like almost every day, right? Making steel. I mean if you were like a pansy and you like couldn't couldn't you know pull your weight, if you will, uh, you didn't last long, right? And so sometimes I like to watch a series like that and and get like motivated again to to push and to make things happen right because talk about talk about people that were stalwart and just made things happen those guys made things happen it was no joke and you you think that they would have been in like a mass panic about some virus going around i mean (laughs) are you kidding me they say make that steel right make that steel uh so yeah, they weren't. It was a pansy-free zone back in the day. Carlos uh, says, uh, "Yes, that series is great." Um, Leon with the GS by the LTJ. Well done. Okay. Uh, let's see. D- dang it, I missed a chance to say hello first, as I was on the phone buying the SBGV239 from Little Treasury. Whoa! Let's pull that up. SB. GV239 239 Oh my goodness. It looks like it's a stunner. This could be a stunner alert. Hold on. I'll I'll switch to it once I get it loaded in here. This could be a stunner alert. Yeah. Yeah. A stunner alert part of the heritage collection. Looks like it's like a really cool dark blue, very clean look, and I'm warming to that case shape. I kind of like that case shape, and let's check it out here. Yeah, it's only 10.4 mils thick. That is going to be killer. That's cool. That's that's more trim than my 005 Stunner. Yeah, two big thumbs up for that one. I had this first time I've seen that with the blue dot. Isn't that a blue dial on that? That is really, that's a sweet looking piece. Well done. Somebody made a move. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Let's see here. Let, let's try to catch up here. Um, uh, I'm more of a Oak Island guy, but we'll check it out. Okay. Um, can you attest to the Nautilus being a hype watch, hop watch, hype watch? Didn't you used to own one? Cheetown, California. Tanz- he's asking Tanzil. Yeah, that would be a, a watch that I think would be wise to pass on a Nautilus. I would absolutely pass on that. The Dubai expat says, hello, Craig. Leon is in the house. It was all about J.P. Morgan, folks. He saved the banking industry several times. He was a bad, you know, what? <laughs> man, those guys were in motion, making things happen. I'm telling you, they were. I saw that series, Craig. It was extremely well done. Chi Town in the house. SBGV239, congrats. Okay, nice watch. I've seen the 239 in person, and yes, a stunner, says Blue. Like today, only exceptional people become billionaires, so nothing new here. Absolutely, the rich get richer. Uh which platform was the series on Netflix or Amazon? I think I saw it on Amazon Prime. I I, I, I get confused sometimes between the two. It's either Amazon Prime or uh, Netflix. I, I thought it was on Amazon Prime, but it's definitely worth checking out. I saw it years ago, and I just wanted to get motivated and stirred up a little bit, so I figured I'd watch it again. Uh, yes, it is a blue dial that looks green in the light. Leon in the house saw it on the history channel yeah it is a history channel thing but they've got it now on um, one of those streaming platforms i think it was amazon prime maybe somebody can double check and put it in the chat two through nine great choice great dial i believe it's it's still same like some decades ago to become billionaire but different ways well i mean it's the formula is is pretty straightforward you change the world right (laughs) if you change the world if you invent 
elect the electric light bulb and bring like electricity to everybody, right? You you're probably going to become a million a billionaire. If you like uh, string railroads all around the United States and dominate the railroad industry, you're probably going to become a billionaire. If you uh, get a monopoly on oil, all right, you're probably going to be a billionaire. If you get a monopoly on social media like Facebook, right, you're probably going to be a, a billionaire. If you change the world by coming out with a, f a phone that is just absolutely amazing, right, like Apple, you're probably going to become a billionaire. I mean, you got to change the world is what you got to do. And, th and that's what these guys did. And I mean, they were just all that in a bag of chips, if you ask me. Um, might be true or might be trolling as usual. His cousin posted it. Apparently he got arrested for calling in a prostitute into his home and breaking the virus law in the Caribbean. I saw a video with a wrist shot of a guy wearing a Nautilus in front of an Aston steering wheel. Two very overhyped and poor value propositions. I'd take a Rolex and a Porsche 911 any day. Or even better, a Grand Seiko and, uh, and a Lexus. You know, a Grand Seiko and a Lexus LS sedan. That would be the way to go. But the Porsche 911 is not that comfortable. I drove them quite a bit. They're okay. They're more comfortable than a Ferrari, but they're still not a great everyday car to run around in. An LS sedan, on the other hand, is pretty much all that. David Williams is in the house. He says, I have Amazon, not Netflix. We'll look into it. Good. <clears throat> hey, Crappy, are you here? <laughs> yes, back in the day, there was loads of viruses going about uh, oh, absolutely and they kept building things right <laughs> there were all kinds of diseases i mean people were dying left and right <laughs> and they didn't care they built the damn bridge right you, they needed to build a bridge they built the bridge if you can't build it get out of the way somebody else will that's how that worked work came first getting the job done came first safety came came later you know here's the thing <clears throat> if you're willing to trade your freedom for safety uh, that's a very slippery slope that's a very slippery slope I'd rather have freedom than safety any day I'll take care of my own safety if I have freedom but if they take my freedom away I'm pretty much screwed so that's how I look at it uh, let's see hello everyone may I ask your thoughts on the 18 karat Rolex Thunderbird they look to be both a bit dress and a bit tool diver. Saw, saw them a couple of weeks ago. Stay healthy, all. Well, if you're talking about like the, um, the Thunderbird is, was like a date chest, Thunderbird, an 18 karat gold. If that's what you're talking about, are you talking about stealing gold? I didn't know they made the Thunderbird. The, with the, you're talking about the turnograph dial, right? The turnograph on a on a date chest. I didn't know they made it in all 18 karat gold. But if they did, that'd be fantastic. I love a date chest in all gold. Absolutely. But I don't know if they made that. Carlos is in the house. Uh, did you see the post about Chip? Okay, we already already went through that. Okay. <laughs> what I don't understand is this envy in our society. People don't acknowledge that there are certain people who work hard to be successful and by that achieve more. There you go. Uh, man, almost everybody in here is in blue <laughs> with a wrench. <laughs> and there you go. A lot of yeah, a lot of wrench members in here. And uh, Craig, how about a Mercedes five five sixty SEC coupe and an eighteen two three eight as a winning combination? Yeah, that the five sixty SEC is pretty cool. It, it was always a cool looking piece. But any of those gasoline powered Mercedes are can be really a problem keeping them maintained, keeping them on the road. Uh, so, again, I think, I'd like, for example, a 10-year-old Lexus sedan, LS sedan, buy it from the little old lady, you know, with 50,000 miles on it, something like that is a lot of bang for the buck and a very solid piece to, uh, to run around in. Another uh, gray day here in New York, over 7,000 dead. There you go, Blue Shirt Buddha in the house. <clears throat> 
I wonder how many would be dead normally. Do we have that number without any virus? That'd be an interesting number to look at. Chip Wong's in the house, and, and Chip Wong needs help. I'm sorry, he's not in the house. Um, <clears throat> no, no, but the Libbies are too busy screaming inequities and racism and other nonsense. I've not heard anything from Horseface Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez lately. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, she's actually pretty hot. Um, yeah, that's why she's so popular, by the way, is because she's smoking hot. I mean, that's that's the, you know the whole story there um yes here's the exclusive uh, yes a d d da machine here the exclusive exclusivity is not having a wrench uh triforce is in the house agreed ironically i think if craig would personally talk to him over skype or something he could help him dude is falling deeper into his alcoholism oh well some people just you know are not um they don't have self-discipline. And we're going to talk about self-discipline a little bit later when we talk about the EDC items, if we ever get to it. I'm just trying to catch up on the chat, and I'm going to go into the topic of the show here, folks. Uh, people tell me a Rolex is a show-off piece, but spending 10000 for traveling the world is fully okay and a complete down-to-earth behavior. I hear you, and you buy the Rolex, and you've got it forever, right? And people say, well, I've got all these memories from the trip. Well, yo, okay fine <laughs> keep your memories <laughs> i'll keep the watch oh well i've done a lot of traveling too so i, I can't say much uh, but I, and i enjoy some traveling but yeah sometimes people i don't know go overboard with that stuff gs needs to offer non-dress spring drive watches without a date complication uh they, yeah that would be cool non-dress spring drive watches without yeah that, yeah i think that'd be cool i would could go for that tell chip to email craig and to trick him into thinking he wants to come on to talk about gs there you go people um people who trade their freedom for the temporary furling of safety deserve neither there you go uh better yet craig one six two three four day chest and a mercedes 300d whoa yeah oh yeah or even a 300 sd like a 1978 uh 300 sd the turbo diesel those were sweet uh yes it was that that's what uh steve young drove for a while he drove a, an sd for a while and then he got a uh a 450 sel and he regretted it <laughs> 450 sel wasn't nearly as reliable as the 300d 300 SD. Yes, it was uh, a two-tone bezel and gold. Thanks, Peter C. Yeah, those are pretty cool. The the, the, the turnograph with the gold. Um, yeah, uh, turn. Uh, it's basically a day chest with a turnograph bezel. Th those are. I think they're cool. Try first. Rich is in the house. Agreed, Craig. I was just talking to my fiance about this. Freedom takes sacrifice, but it's worth it. Uh, little old ladies also tend to take their cars into the dealership for all services. Exactly, and there, and uh, of course, an LS sedan doesn't need much, <laughs> right? Um, the first major service is at like a hundred thousand miles. I think they put a a timing belt on it. Uh, why why do people say Mercedes and Audi Audi are always going back for services? That true? Yeah, the, I would skip on the Mercedes and Audi deal and just go with the uh, Lexus. How about an exit a, a Lexus LC five hundred? I don't think Lexus makes a bad car. So I'm not familiar with the LC500, but yeah, I think you'd be okay. Uh, are you sure it's not an LS500? But anyway, that, uh, I don't know what the LC500 is. A Amen, the Dubai, Dubai Express. My ancestors came to the USA to make something for themselves, but the demon, mon, demon, demonization of folks that are successful sucks. America was built on the movers and shakers. Uh, what is your opinion about Trump, Craig? If I read our German newspapers, all newspapers, he is being bashed all the time and presented like a complete idiot. How is the picture in the U.S.? Well, the media, yeah, the media tries to portray him as that. Um, I think he's a showman. I think he, you know, was a pretty successful businessman. But I don't think that he or any president can really turn things around. 
you know, in four or eight years, how can you possibly turn the Titanic around, right? I mean, we're 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 headed towards socialism. There's there's just no getting around it. It's uh, that's that's where we're headed. So 1978 to 80 W116 300 SD are highly sought after now. Yeah, <clears throat> as long as you find one that's rust free, absolutely. They were they were robust cars. The LC500 is a gorgeous car. I've sat in one and is beautifully made. It was featured in the Black Panther. Okay. Craig, as someone who is well-experienced and older, isn't it interesting encountering women who knew, women you knew who were feisty and active in their youth and now grandmas? Um, yeah, I mean, it's interesting the way you see people change over time. Absolutely, not, and not just women, but uh, uh, y y all people. A lot of people change over time. Uh, that absolutely is true. Mercedes attracts bimbos with no net worth. Lexus attracts sophisticated ladies with 401ks. Well, there you go. Uh, Carlos, the uh, at debat expert, uh, same happened in Spain. It seems that the cool thing is to be against and make jokes about any Republican president. Yeah. All right. So let's go. Let's look at some EDC items before this whole show gets totally out of reach here, out of hand. And there's the EDC thumbnail. And in that thumbnail, you'll see the, uh, of course, the money clip, the gold money clip, bottom left hand corner. Of course, you'll see the 231 stunner, which I have on wrist right now. You'll see the Sabenza, which I carry regularly. And of course, you'll see a couple of DuPont pens. And a pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses thrown in there just for fun. And, of course, the, um, the bronze uh, hook that I use for my keys so the keys don't go all the way down in the bottom of the pocket and, you know, put undue stress on the uh, bottom of the pocket. And then, of course, there's a, that's a Fisher Space Pen that looks like a bullet. That's a bullet pen, uh, but it's actually a Fisher Space Pen. And then we've got the, um, a couple of Spyderco knives there and then a couple of titanium uh, EDC flashlights and one was an Eagle Tech and the other one was a um, uh, Olight and now we've got of course uh, the spring drives that I had I used to have a snowflake uh, and there's of course the 231 next to it so let me catch up on the comments and then we'll continue with the slideshow um, Yes, in Germany, it is really annoying already. Lexus also attracts middle-aged female real estate agents. There you go. I think it attracts anybody that's got a, a brain and wants a super reliable, super nice car. I think those are the people that buy Lexus. They it, Probably people that had experience with Toyota already and know that it's the way to go. Um, and completely accepted by society. Okay. Um, is it in the natural course of events that liberty recedes and government grows? Yes, absolutely, Thomas Jefferson was right. The, the government just keeps growing and growing and growing until finally it gets too big and can't be supported, and it, the whole thing falls, comes crashing down like the Roman Empire. It, it just happens over and over again. Um, the Dubai expat Trump's reputation among Americans does not necessarily align with media, portrayal domestic or international. Uh, yes, David, that's what I thought. Uh, uh, Craig, if you met a stunning woman 20 years younger than you with a higher net worth and a high-paying career, would you discard the prenup requirement? <laughs> uh, good question. I mean, well, oh my gosh, uh, uh, yeah, if she had a higher net worth, why would I want a prenup? She would probably want one, would be my guess <laughs> on that hypothetical. Uh my uncle has driven LS, Lexus LS sedan since 1997. Good move on him. Uh, R. Wags is in the house. Sorry, I didn't mean to time you out. Oh, you, you accidentally <laughs> gave somebody a timeout. Got to run, fellas. DA Machine is, is rolling out. All right, let's cut back to another. Let's do another couple of slides here real quick. And let's see, same same thing. Okay, and here, uh, we talk about man purse yesterday. That came up in conversation. And this is by Colonel Littleton. This is a man purse. And let's see if there's any more pictures of that. Now that's just some uh, straps that I have for my uh, cameras. Oh, and that's a, a watch that I bought. 
And we'll get back to the man purse again. But that's a watch that I actually bought from Costco. It was super reasonable price. Didn't come with that gas gas bone strap. I put that on it. The thing only ran for like a few months. And then it crapped out. And I returned it to Costco and got all my money back. They have a great return policy. Now, there's some... some uh, affordable watches i'm not going to use the other term that some people use the uh the one with the orange dial i actually sold to my buddy dave serio who has one of those orange challenger is it a challenger that comes in orange anyway he loved that dial and he loves that watch and he still has it and it's a kinetic watch and then of course to the left of that was the um the sbdc 007 the Shogun watch that I actually wore for a couple of years, that is a fantastic watch. If it didn't run slow, I would probably still own it. And then there's a Ben Hart, a Binnacle Diver there on the right. That's a heavy-duty sport watch that a lot of um, military and police and so forth use those watches. They're very rugged. Then there's an Invicta 99... Is that a 9937? No, that's some other Invicta. Uh, and then there's a, that Victorinox uh, Swiss Army is a titanium watch there in the middle. And then, of course, that's Seiko. Then the Omega that I had, and then, of course, the Date 8. So a lot of those watches are history. All Actually, every watch in that picture right there has been sold. It's gone, every watch in that picture. And there's the, uh, the titanium Victorinox. That's a, that's a heavy-use watch. That's a heavy-duty piece. And there's the 007 uh, next to the Invicta. That Invicta was really a piece of junk. And I had a 9937 Invicta. They're, they're actually pretty decent. If you want to get an Invicta, 9937 is actually pretty decent. But uh, there's that 007 again. It was a nice watch. really was. Super comfortable on wrist. T again, titanium. That one had the Dia Shield coating. Um, let's see here. Let's catch up here. Um, take care of you. Craig, do you have kids? No, I do not. Thank goodness. Um, hi, and RWAG says, hi, Carlos in blue. Cheat Town says, Craig, do you prefer man purses or hard-sided briefcases? I have both, and I use both for different purposes. We'll grab that man purse here in a minute if I remember. Um, I think my no next watch will be a Date 836 two-tone jubilee and fluted bezel okay well the day date there was a very rare model that was i believe white gold and yellow gold rollasaur whatever they called it or whatever but you you can't get a day date in steel and gold if that's what you're uh, going after there they don't make it but they did make a very rare rollasaur or whatever but i would pass on that i would just get uh yellow gold would be the way to go on a day date do not pass gold. Go, just get yellow gold. Some hard wrenching and Lamont has not appeared yet. Oh, uh, Seamaster 120. Nice. Yes, I did enjoy that Seamaster 120. The only thing I didn't like about that watch is the skeletonized hands. I'm just not a fan of the skeletonized hands. But other than that, it was fantastic. Nice and trim on wrist. Uh, I wore it for several years. Uh, Blue and Wags, calm down with the wrenches. You are becoming tyrants like a big government. If the people revolt, I'll turn my wrench against you. Uh, lots of, yeah, lots of, exactly. That's why those are gone. Um, Triforce, we will uh, de-wrench you. Good comparison, the Roman Empire, the people grew fat and got lazy, and the Senate became a meaningless joke. There you go. Uh, I'd rather die with honor than live with a corrupt wrench. <laughs> Craig taught me as much. Um, has the golden wrench that has included... Um, blue has the golden wrench that was included with the gold stunner from Craig. Um, mixed it up. I'm, I mean, date just. There you go. Yeah, absolutely. Ha ha, Carlos. Uh, which is better place to buy a watch? Little Treasury or at Brisbane Vintage Watches. Oh my gosh, little treasure. It's not even a close call. Peter sees in the house. Oh, seven looks like it wore very comfortable with that case. And it's uh, EDC satchel, LOL. Yes, uh, it was very, very comfortable on wrist. Very comfortable. 
it's trimmer than the 231. It's, it lays flatter on the wrist than the 231. I think uh, understated Rolex was the oyster date precision. Still cheap to pick up in good condition. Yeah, yeah, absolutely that would be a, a mover. That would be a way to move. Okay, let's check. Let's see if we can see some more watch p photos here. There's another close-up of the 007. And there's, of course, the stunning 18238 stunner. And, and that was a really cool um, Chris Reeves knife that I had that I ended up selling. It, 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 it was a very good EDC knife, very compact. And I forget what they, what they call that. Um, let me see if I can look here, tell you what it's called. Oh, uh, it was called the uh, tie lock, the tie lock, Chris Lee Reeves tie lock. It was really a cool knife. I've got a video review on the channel here, and but I ended up selling it because I just wasn't carrying it. And you know, if I'm not using things, I don't tend to keep them around. There's another shot of it. Very, very cool piece. Okay, and there's a, the back side of that 007. 007 Stunner. You can buy those reasonable too. I mean, when I say reasonable, maybe maybe five or six hundred bucks. About it. there's the date eight again, and there's some again. Most of those have been sold. Uh, the only one that I still have, believe it or not, is that winger with the blue dial. All the rest have been sold. There's the date eight. Okay, and there's some knives, and uh, the um, I still have the the one on the right there. Uh, I still have the Sabenza, of course, in the middle, and then that that um, oh, what do they call those? Uh, hmm, I forget the name of that that one there. Maybe you guys know what they're called. Anyway, I, I sold that. Um, yeah, there there's another picture of it. Why can't I remember the name of that? Let's get it here. Strider. Yeah, Strider SNG. And that's the Dual Gunner. That's the Dual Gunner is the name of that one. That, that That's a cool knife, but... And it's nice and trim, but I couldn't get it to... It, it didn't flick that great. And there's, of course, a um, Spyderco. That's the Enduro Enduro Four. Definitely a nice nice piece. Why is this not um, going anywhere? Maybe that's the last one in this series. It can't be the case. Let's go back to search here. Is that the end of the game? Let's see. Maybe that's just the end of that page. Well, no. There's a bunch of more here. One one heck. Why in the heck didn't it keep going? Let's keep going. Let's see if we can keep going here. And there is... I, I've had two of those. That one I sold, and I showed you the other one yesterday that has the composite, that's the limited, pro limited production one. It has a composite, composite blade. Zero tolerance. Th those are nice pieces. And there's another Kershaw leak. Not the one I showed you yesterday, but a different one. I still have that one as well. This one in the picture does not have the half serrated blade. The other one has the half serrated blade. I still have that knife. Sold the Strider. <clears throat> nice piece, but I just couldn't get into it. And sold it. Uh, I think I just got a text message. Let me just double check this. Oh, Rachel says, okay, I'm going to go live tomorrow at 1 p.m. If that's okay, I'll test first. I'll ring you. For, yeah. Uh, yes, that's good. Okay. Hopefully she will do a live show tomorrow. All right. Uh, the lovely Rachel. Okay. All right. So now let's catch up here on the comments. Um, uh 
I think and understand. Okay, we okay. Craig, take away my wrench. I do not wish to be in the company of tyrants. <laughs> oh, relax. These guys are going to back down a little bit. Um, Cheat Town, the uh, six six nine four oyster date. Okay, uh, you are in a dictatorship. Craig decides whether you're stripped of your powers. <laughs> yes, the six six nine four was a great watch. Just a pain to unscrew the crown and wind it each day. Manual wind watches and screw down crowns. So, yeah, exactly. I would not go that direction. I agree with you. Gills in the house. Knives are dangerous. Better off with a gun. I'll tell you, a knife in close combat, many times a knife, a good tactical knife, will trump a gun. It will trump a gun. So that's how that works. Or a pea shooter. Uh, how much money... How much money you make on YouTube, Craig? Not very much. Not very much. Not that I'm not grateful for what I do make, but it varies anywhere from, let's say, a low of maybe three or $400 up to maybe $600, maybe 700 at the most each month. So it varies. And that's enough for me to pay for some equipment. You know, it's not, it's not nothing, but it's, you can't really, it's very difficult to make a, a decent living on YouTube. So, you got to get millions and millions of views to get, uh, to get to where you're really making a living. Okay, um, on each video, you got to get a lot of views, like, like uh, iJustine does. And get a bunch of sponsors and stuff like that. Uh, do not challenge Be a Serve. Uh, we know that he is uh, what he's able to do, and it was a big mess. Okay. And yes, the Troll Wars of 2019, or was it 18, uh, now is less dangerous as almost everybody has a wrench. Moment of silence for the Troll Vets. I think it was last year around this time I missed uh, Jackson. I, I want to throw the wrench on him. Here's somebody without a wrench in here. What is, what is about buy color watches? If I buy Tudor, buy, it means I have no money f for Rolex. And no money for full gold. Yeah, I would pass on Tudor anyway. And I was never a fan, really, of steel and gold watches. Generally speaking, I would rather go all steel or all gold. Or even better yet, titanium. Like this stunner here. Uh, so, yeah. That's the way I would roll on that. And Triforce, Triforce Rich Steve's first of Steve's Fist of Fury trump any knife or gun <laughs> yeah uh dude sparred with bruce lee back in the 70s uh, for the um, for, for the amount time spent a month that's less than minimum wage that's correct uh silent warfare is always favored to sound uh when are you going to get i justine to dance for us on the channel craig hey that would be cool I Justine doesn't respond to my contact anymore. I, I I used to work with her a little bit when she was still in Pittsburgh. Uh, we worked together on a couple of things, but that was many, 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 many years ago. White gold is the best. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. 18 karat yellow gold, like right there, is the way to go. All right, let's keep going here. Let's see what else we got. And there is the lovely scientist in the foreground there that's the scientist and then of course the um the uh spider co right spider co enduro i have that one in my i use that in the kitchen all the time that's always in the kitchen and i i i took the black paint off of that class but it's, uh, it's stainless steel underneath that i think it looks better with with the stainless steel and uh let's see and i still have that sog and I sold that one, but I have the other one that I showed you yesterday with the um, composite blade. And that's a nice piece. That's a nice Kershaw there. And that one is um, very flat, very trim. And I still have that somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where. Uh, tr uh, and she says, am I okay? I'm, I'm going to say yes. I'm live now <laughs> that's the lovely Rachel obviously she's not watching 
Um, let's see. Um, okay, so let's catch up here. Silent Warfare. So, okay. When are okay? We already okay. We already read that. Steel and gold watches were compromised back then, and nowadays they're compromised because you can't get full stainless sport watches at ADs. Yeah, I don't understand the like the 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 clamoring. Um, I I'll pop on. Okay, I guess she's gonna watch. Um, I don't understand the clamoring for these steel sport watches and paying huge amounts of money for them. I don't get it. Why on earth would you do that when you can take that kind of money and buy a, a gold Rolex? For the money they're spending on some of these, I'm talking about people paying way over list price, right? For the money they're spending on some of these steel stunners, they could get a real stunner. They could get an actual gold watch and have a real stunner on their hands. Steel watches are great for tool watches and for you know heavy use. You know, that watch right there is extremely robust, but I wouldn't pay $10,000 for it. I wouldn't pay $12,000 for it. I wouldn't pay $14,000 for it, and I certainly wouldn't pay over $20,000 for a steel freaking watch. Are you kidding me? Are you people out of your freaking minds? The answer to that question would be yes, if they pay that kind of money for a steel watch. I would pass. 21 up bowls. Craig as one of your original and longest serving subscribers do i qualify for a wrench <laughs> there you go somebody else wants a wrench okay we got to get um one of the wrench gang members have to has to uh, nominate you and then yes we'll issue you a wrench i feel like it i mean my gosh it's it's good friday right I, i'm in a good mood so um keep stay in the chat stay in the chat okay and let's keep an eye on here. If somebody else nominates 21 up bowls, then we'll go ahead and give him a wrench. I do like some of the two-tone day chests like the Ever Rose and Steel Chocolate Dial Day Chest 41. Yeah, but there are some better options. Uh, Triforce Rich, Craig, I wear a white gold ring. I don't have gold accessories, so I prefer white gold. My GMT and Milgals are steel. Yeah, I would just stay with a nice steel watch then. Don't spend the money. You don't have to spend the money on, on white gold because nobody's going to even know it's gold. So I wouldn't necessarily spend the money on that. Do you have a, a Milgauss? N uh, I guess you're asking somebody else. I don't have a Milgauss, of course. I also cannot get by color. That is why I asked. Okay. I think the authoritarian... Can't even say it. Wrench Gang is deleting some of my comments. <laughs> Michael, no, no, they're not. Um, it's truly a stunner, but 13 inch too thick for Craig. Yeah, I don't, I, there's no reason to get that. It, you go with a Oyster Perpetual or or a uh, Explorer, you know, something thinner, a day chest. It's it's uh, herd mentality. If two tones were the hottest thing on Instagram, then those would, uh, the sheep would go for them instead. <laughs> oh my gosh, the sheep. Um, <clears throat> did anybody ban Lamont? I'm starting to miss him. No, I don't think he was banned. No, he's good. Lamont is asking his dad for money to buy Craig's day date. I nominated him. Okay, all right. 21 uploads okay so thanks okay so yeah but that's not a member of the wrench gang a wrench gang member has to nominate him and somebody said i nominate lamont but 21 up bowls is trying to get a nomination here come on this is serious business guys who knows this guy come on who can vouch for him yes but the hype is powerful and they cannot resist need to buy stainless steel for crazy money not many clever people in nature <laughs> No one ever got, no, no one ever gone broke overestimating the moronishness of people. <laughs> I I don't have Instagram. Okay, Craig, be calm with the wrenches. <laughs> Damn, almost got him. <laughs> hey, but if the guy wants a wrench, come on. I mean, you know, we can't be stingy now. <laughs> Craig, did you ever think you'd be live streaming and talking about wrenches one, watches one day? <laughs> Got wrenches on the mind. 
Yeah, maybe. I mean, why why not? I've been doing a lot of live streams over the years. Why not talk about watches? Let's keep going here. There's a Sabenza. And oh yeah, that was a cool knife. I sold that one. I, I probably should have kept that. That that was a nice um now it was it was made in China, I think I think Taiwan. Spider Co. Um which is it's a, that's a Sage, I think a Sage two. Let me see what which 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 Sage it is here. Uh, oh, I don't say here. Anyway, I think it's a Sage 2, I think, or whatever. But uh, I ended up selling it. It was a nice piece. Uh, we talked about that. We talked about that. Sabenza, Kershaw. That was the... That, that Kershaw was one of the first knives that I bought. Uh, made in USA. I bought it at Walmart. Let's keep going here. Um, these were just a EDC search. These all came up. So we're just blasting through some things here. That's probably why I sold that that Sage is because it was made in Taiwan. Not a big fan. And that was a good knife. I think I gave that away to somebody. That That's a, that's a nice Kershaw. That was made in these... Uh, United States. <clears throat> date eight again, and here's the uh, here. Here I had the uh, bag, the EDC bag inside the Segway, <laughs> that one I showed you guys yesterday. And why am I not getting the arrow here again? Oh well, oh well. We'll see inside that here in a minute. I think. Um, Rachel's in the house. I'm kind of surprised you don't have an Instagram account. Oh, I have an Instagram account, Rachel. I have an Instagram account. Uh, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, let's see. Uh, Rachel, he does. Okay. Sorry, Craig. I won't pay thirty-six thousand for a gold day date only if it contains three to four thousand dollars of gold. I'll keep my two-tone date just. I don't blame you, Jonathan. The date just is a good move. Leon's in the house, of course. Then there are eBay sellers that smoke the crack pipe of over overpricement and want large amounts for watches that looks like they are dropped in the mud. Rachel Smith. Uh, somebody says to Rachel, he does. What is it? <laughs> um, well, I think I think I think it's just I think I have one that's just Craig Ship, right? I, and then I have Frederick Business uh, for for the businesses, and then I have one for Mid Atlantic TV. So I have a few of them, Rachel. Um, if you search me on Instagram, it should come up. I'm sorry about that. I I should be following you. If I'm not, I should be. So I am so poor, I don't have even Facebook account. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, it's Craig Ship, Rachel. <laughs> there you go. Um, almost 1,200 listings for Rolex, Batman, and Batgirls on Chrono24. Saw, saw a few under 12K. Get them while they're hot. Yeah, wait till they get down to around list price on the Batgirl. But I would, I would uh, pass on the Batman. It's antiquated at this point I'd get the back girl you don't need to pay for Facebook <laughs> somebody said <laughs> you guys are funny this dry frozen survival food is making me <laughs> sick have to risk a trip to the grocery store for real food Rachel Smith says got it thank you all right Rachel we we're, we want to see you back on the channel absolutely Rachel says she's going to do a live stream tomorrow I'm keeping my fingers crossed that she does a live stream because she is fantastic she is really good at doing live streams and we need her back on the channel to, to give us some encouragement and to, to, up, to lift us up a little bit lift us out of the doldrums we need Rachel to come on yeah but if you watch but if you watch a watch on eBay, sellers will send you offers for 25% off the asking price. Yeah, yeah, they will. They'll try to suck you in. Is Frederick in total lockdown? I miss going to Keys Games and looking at the historic cemetery next to it. Leon's in the house. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much it's on lockdown. It's a damn shame if you ask me, but pretty much it is. 
Blue's in the house. What is a list on Rolex Pepsi sub? What is the list? I think it's in around 10,000. Somebody will get the number in the chat. If you still want a hyped watch when it's not popular anymore, then get it. Otherwise, put down the pocketbook. Thoughts on people in watch forums saying that they found BLNRs for under 12K but not wanting to share it, share where they found it. Um, I would wait till it gets down to 10K anyway. Under 12K still isn't low enough. Rachel Smith says, gearing for tomorrow, I have to tie the kids down in advance. You should bring them on the show. They could have fun, fun on the show. Do you guys ever sing together? Do you guys... Because cause that'd be cool if you guys can sing a few songs. Um, that would be entertaining. Bree's in the house. She says, hi, everyone. Sorry I'm late. Uh, are you going to Skype in? Let us know if you're going to Skype into the show. And by the way, Rachel, you can always Skype into this show, too. You're always welcome to Skype in. Carlos is in the house, and he says, at Rachel, LOL, I believe 9K, Blue. Yeah, that's list price? Okay. If I wasn't engaged, uh, Rachel is the type of girl I'd be right up. Uh, I'd be right up to at the bar. I'm retired now, though. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, but and she's a happily married young lady, so there's that. And Brief Fit Dance is in the house now. She is not married, as far as I know. Hope everyone is staying safe, says Brief Fit Dance. Yes, we are, and we're in motion, making things happen. And Carlos says hello at Bree, and Triforce Rich says. I'd be going, okay. It would be nice to do a live show with Rachel. Oh, well, yeah, it would, absolutely. The ceramic steel Daytona is around 12K USD. Don't pay 26 grand for one. That's correct. I would not pay more than list. And Rachel Smith says, hi, says at Bree, hi. There you go. All right. And Bree says, hello. And Bree, if you call in... Let me know in the chat if you're going to call in, because I'd like Rachel to see how that works. I'd like her to see how it works when you have a guest Skype in to a show, because she is going to want to do that sometimes, too, because, of you know, everybody's on lockdown. So she might have to have some of her guests Skype in. So it'd be a good demo if you Skype in. Uh, she'll be able to see how it works. At, at Rachel, what watch do you wear? Okay, she's calling. Let me see if I can answer this. Oh, shoot. Um, here we go. Let's see if this works. Okay, I think it worked. Let me pick up my headset. Give me a second, Bree. Okay. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear okay. you. Okay, you so yes. Now, Rachel, the way we're doing this is, I've, as you know, I've got the laptop going in to position four on my switcher. And so Bree just called in on Skype. I had Skype running on the laptop, and Bree called in on Skype, and um, I just answered the call. And since the audio from the laptop is already being piped into the system, I can monitor her with the headphones, and we can have a conversation. And I just push button number four on the Roland, and she's on screen. And so it's that easy to bring somebody in via Skype. And let's uh, catch up on the comments here real quick, Bree. Um, and and Rachel Smith says, said hi to you. You already saw that. And uh, Blue says, Bree Fit Dance, hello. Rachel, what watch do you wear and what is your EDC? Rachel, EDC stands for what do you carry every day? Everyday carry. And uh, Peter says, how long you think uh, nobody says they will keep parts and service those expensive watches. What if they won't fix it in the future? No, they'll fix them. There'll be people that'll fix them. Trust me. They're, that's how they make a living. There's people that will fix high-end watches. Uh, Triforce Rich says, and most of these high-end watches like the Grand Seikos will last for decades. You don't even have to worry about that. So, wait, Craig, why doesn't Rachel have a wrench? We'll give Rachel a wrench. I'm going to give her a wrench well, right yeah. now. Bree, I'm, I'm giving her a wrench. Okay, good. Okay, so I just gave her a wrench. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. Would you buy pre-owned or new? Um, 
I like buying new these days just because I like my name on the paperwork and I like to know what I'm getting and so on. So I used to, years ago, I did buy a lot of used watches, but these days I would buy new. Cheetown says, I wouldn't worry about servicing if you get a new Rolex. Uh, Rolex will service those watches for a good 30 years down the road. Absolutely. Rachel's in the house. Surprisingly, I don't wear them. I have a small collection, but ignorant to types. However, Craig uh, lives... Um, uh, Craig's lives may have piqued my interest. Okay. My eyes are failing, Rachel. That's why sometimes I can't read your, your the comments here. Cheetown is easy. Uh, they they can say whatever, but in reality, might not be so easy. What about Omega? Oh, you can get Omega serviced, absolutely. And Rachel says EDC phone, occasionally my sanity. <laughs> okay, she has a wrench now. I have no idea about Omega. If you're worried about long-term servicing, then get a modern Rolex or Patek. I think you'll be okay with Omega. Uh, you know, and I think it'll hold up for a long time. I don't even think you're going to have to have it serviced. And 21 up bowls, I feel like the, the nerd in the playground, LOL. I'm going to give you a wrench because it's Good Friday, and you asked for one, and nobody said no. So you, you've got a wrench now, 21 uploads. I'm feeling, I'm feeling it. Okay, and Le, Le Boroco, whatever, 777, haha, good one, Rachel. Okay, Bree. So bring us up to date. Are you, you're hooked up with the cable, right? Yeah, I'm hooked up. Looks hooked pretty up. good. It's working pretty good. Okay. And you. so um, <clears throat> you did a live stream today, and you had some connection issues, though, right? Yeah, it wasn't good. So uh, but I just finished a Instagram Live. Okay. I did an Instagram Live video. Okay. Good. 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 And you're back in you're back in school now, right? Well, you're doing it remotely. Right, I'm back in school, and um, so doing two different things. Is that going good? Yeah, it's going good so far. Okay, and th they've got pretty good systems for you to do that online? Oh, yes, we're using Zoom a lot. Zoom, okay. All right, and okay, so let's catch up here. Um, okay, 21, I was four four foot tall I was a four foot tall nerd in the playground then hit puberty late and now I'm six foot tall with a wrench there you go <laughs> and uh and 21 up bowl says okay thanks Craig okay and I am so poor don't have a wrench but Bree is here there you go absolutely and always keep an extra battery pack in your bag and make sure it's charged up and Jonathan says Craig what do I do with all these Rolexes I paid top dollar for on credit hoping to resell them for more <laughs> lol just kidding um, enjoying my Seiko snowflake wow absolutely hope you're doing great and staying safe yes we are and Carlos says I nominate uh, Petro for a wrench okay well where is he we're going to give him a wrench He's going to get a wrench right now. Bam, just like that. Carlos ha holds a lot of sway in this group. Nice. If he says they get a wrench, they get a wrench. Tim's in the house. Has anyone had a 40-year-plus Rolex serviced by Rolex? Mm -hmm. I fear they may want to change the dial hands. They, yeah, they're going to want to do that, but you just have to really put your foot down and do the best you can to keep them from doing that. Uh, absolutely, that's an issue, Tim. And some people have had them done, and they've been able to keep them all original, and some people have failed at that process. So be careful. Tread carefully. All right, Bree, what other pearls of wisdom do you have for us today? Pearls of wisdom? Yes. Uh, well, I can say the one that's really famous, person, personal responsibility is a new counterculture. <laughs> okay, personal responsibility is the new counterculture. You're so right, because so many people do not take responsibility for themselves. They want everybody else to take care of them, don't they? They, they don't want to rely on themselves. They want somebody to step in and take care of them. And uh, yeah. Th that's yeah, it's about self-discipline, too. Yeah, and um, what's coming up in about 33 days from now? Do you know? The halving? Yeah. Big the Bitcoin halving is coming up in about 
th something like 32 days, something like that, where they're going to cut the supply that's produced every 10 minutes in half. They're going to cut it in half. And usually, several months after that happens, usually things start getting really interesting because people start realizing that the supply is contracted. And sometimes the price goes kind of bananas. Now, I don't know what's going to happen c with the virus and all this stuff that's going on. This is a whole different ballgame, right? So this could be different this time. But it's going to be interesting. 2020 is going to be interesting in a lot of ways, not the least of which is the Bitcoin halving. Are you going to sell any of your Bitcoin? I don't know. That's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Bree says zero chance just of that. Keep and hold. Yeah, yeah, just hold hold on to it. Okay. Um, let's see. The nice thing about Rolex is, is it is such a ubiquitous brand. So there are lots of good independent watchmakers out there who can do a sympathetic search. Absolutely. And they're going to have parts and everything. So it's not going to be a problem. That's going to be doable. My friend got his 20-year-old seed driller serviced at Rolex. No polishing, no new hands, no dial, no bezel insert change. There you go. If you tell Rolex not to change the dial, I'm sure they won't. Bree, if you introduced, if you, Hi. if you introduced a guy with a tutor to Craig, do you think that would go well? How about if he's wearing some diamond, rose, gold earrings? Uh, maybe not earrings. Well, first of all, I don't know why you would be introducing a guy to me in the first place. So that's the, <laughs> I'm not sure about the whole premise of that, <laughs> that question. Um, yeah. So Brent is in the house. He says BTC is the one world currency. There you go. BTC is, is. is Bitcoin. Supply shock 2.0, Brent in the house. Make sure you have written agreement with the service centers. Yeah, try your best to get them pinned down so that they don't replace those things that you don't want replaced. Got to stay hydrated. It's already 34 degrees Celsius here in the Arabian Gulf. So much for spring. Okay, absolutely. 2020 is BTC's year. Brent in the house. Emmy, Craig, did you ever try on a Date 840? How did the weight feel did it look too big on wrist? No, I have not tried one on. And unfortunately, my AD is closed, so I can't do that anytime soon. But oh. I, I still think the 36 millimeter is the way to go. I, I think it's just, for most wrists, I think it's the way to go. I think the 40 is just pushing it a little bit. Um, if it was like 38 mils, that might be different. But I think 40 is just pushing it a little bit. 21 uploads. I lost some money on... BitConnect Bitcoin. scam, but I have always held my Bitcoin, liquidated my altcoins years ago. Exactly. That's what you want to do. Hold your Bitcoin. Keep it safe. Don't get involved in any of those altcoins or any of those other scams. They usually don't end well. Cheat Town's in the house. Bree, if he had diamond and rose gold earrings, admonish him for his choice in rose gold and ask that he relinquish them to you. Absolutely. The earrings would look a lot better on Bree than some guy. I just don't get the whole. Right. I don't get the whole guys wearing earrings thing. Anyway, I mean, I, I, I know it. they think it's hip and cool, but I think it would be yeah. better better if you have them, don't you think, Bree? Yeah, I love earrings. Yeah, and have them right now. Yeah, so that's all you. You just need the gold earrings. So, <laughs> let's see. What date do you think we should open the economy again? Well, I don't think they should have ever closed it personally, but I'm in the minority. Everybody else thinks that they should close everything down, but I don't think they should have closed anything down. I think that we should have taken personal responsibility and taken care of ourselves, and we can do that. And so, but anyway, it is what it is. Yeah. We will see what happened. Bree, describe your ideal man physically. Physically. Wow. Oh. Um, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> it's it's about kindness and generosity so, and them being successful. So it's not as much their physical appearance as as how they they carry themselves and how organized yeah. they are and how professional they are and these kinds of things, right? Yes, success, successful. Yeah, because you're moving forward, right? Oh, yeah. So he needs to be already forward or moving forward with me <laughs> <laughs> there you go i think triforce meant uh if brie introduced a boyfriend to craig 
and her boyfriend had a tutor, oh, yeah, that would not go over well. I would tell <laughs> Bree to basically run the other direction. If he doesn't have good sense, then, yeah, that's not going to end well. Um, yeah, she needs a, she needs somebody that has a lot, very good sense. Uh, do you think, and I'm going to look out for her uh, on that uh, front for sure. Do you think uh, watchmaking is appealing job for a new generation? That's a good question. I don't know. I think it it could be interesting, but it could also be kind of difficult. I think you need some skill, but yeah, I think that's kind of cool. Craig, what's worse for Bree, a very well dressed man with tutor? Or wearing well, a spring drive titanium, but wearing one of those modern tight suits. <laughs> um, yeah, I think the I think the spring drive with the tight suit would be okay. Uh, I mean, you know, that's a hipster thing. The tight suits. I mean, I get it. I get they want to wear that stuff, but that's okay. But yeah, as long as he's wearing the spring drive, I think that would be a a good start. Uh, do you think yeah. stock market will go up or down from this point? I'm still looking for another big sell off personally at some point i don't know when it's going to happen but i'm looking for a major sell-off and we'll see what happens with that it's a good year for gold right now they're pumping a lot of money into the system and that's what's holding the stock market up is the feds are pumping a lot of money into the system but that generally i don't think it's going to end well the good thing mm -hmm. about bitcoin is it's limited the fiat currency is not limited right Bree? right yeah it uh, let's see. It's a good year for gold. A lot of folks are selling unwanted jewelry. Can't wait to melt some of my newly purchased junk down into coins. Triforce wrench. Uh, you're telling me my six pack, thick hair, and chiseled features are, are not are for naught. Glad I'm I'm making moves to be those other things as well. Um, and kind and successful. <laughs> there you go. Well, yeah, I mean, if you look like um, Cary Grant, you know, I mean, if you're like really well put together and you've got and you're moving the right direction and kind and generous and all that, that would work. Right, Bree? Yes, that would work. Yeah, you're, Absolutely. you're not going to hold their good looks against them. And, right. And Triforce Wrench is in, in the house. And Emmy, uh, when they come out with vaccine for virus, are you going to take it every year? <laughs> you asking me? I'm not taking any vaccines. No, I, I stay away from all that stuff. I take care of myself. I've got, ask Bree. Bree, do I have a strong immune system? Oh, yes, you do. Yeah, I'm not. I've been, I've been sick around you and you never, you never get sick. Yeah, I never catch anything. That's, that's how we do that. We eat oranges and we take care of ourselves, right? Oh, yes. And Bree's starting to do that. You're starting to really take care of yourself, right? Yes, eating oranges every day. Yeah. There you go. Um, just like fiat cars, fiat currency needs constant fixing. <laughs> Craig's ideal man sounds like uh, uh, Craig's ideal man sounds like twenty-year-old Craig. Um, so another well, the, no, the twenty-year-old Craig was a little bit, a little bit fast and loose, and and uh, a little bit too wild. I wouldn't recommend the twenty-year-old Craig for Bree. <laughs> I want somebody a little more down to earth, a little more professional. Um, yeah, I, I was a little bit too wild when I was 20, so that that would not be a good thing. Uh, Tim right. says yes, and so, and and uh, uh, gold physicality is the only one good for wartime, easy to keep in pocket. Yeah, gold. Uh, actually, I, uh, we, <laughs> all right. I'm I, I'm I'm gonna have <laughs> Bree. I think I'm gonna have to let you go because. Um, they're, they're, they will want to keep you here all day. I mean, yeah. you know, they, they really like having you here. So, but hey, folks, go and subscribe to her channel, okay? BreeFitDance.com, BreeFitDance.com. Subscribe to all of her social media if you want to get more of Bree. That's how you have to do it. You have to go to her channel and her places and follow her. And then if you really want to be helpful, what can they do? They really want to be helpful, Bree. To subscribe to my Patreon account. Become a Patreon. Yeah, That's right. like a five dollar or twenty five. Twenty five dollar level would be really nice, right? Yeah, they can have a private chat with me. There you go. There you go. <laughs> That's the deal. All right, so briefitdance.com, briefitdance.com. Check it out and be there or be square. That's what I say. 
Thanks for yeah. coming on, Bree. Okay, you're welcome. Be safe, everyone. Take care. The lovely Brianna. Brianna in the house. Thanks again. All right. That's how that works. Just like that, we had a guest come in the house. Uh, let's see here. Um, <clears throat> actually, I, I look like a stereotypical 50s magazine cover man. <laughs> Uh, side part dark and well dressed so something like a, a Cary Grant but still much worse looking than Steve <laughs> well yeah Steve's pretty much all that uh, Emmy do you run or do cardio if you're asking me I, I walk a lot and I do up and down the stairs a lot when it's too windy or nasty outside I go up and down the stairs I've got several flights of stairs here that I can go up and down um so that's what I've been doing here in quarantine. A blue, if you want a foot in the door, um, buy Bria Rolex. Absolutely, that'll get your foot in the door. Um, gold is too hard to verify. Does at Rachel want to Skype in? I don't. I don't see her in the in here anymore. I've got to go over with her how to do that and all. But yeah, we should get her skyping into some shows for sure. Carlos is in the house, um, and Brent says, how do I know if it's tungsten? Uh, Brent, BTC Gold 2.0. Yeah, BTC. Bree needs an only fans page, Craig. Well, that's what she uses the $25 um, Patreon for, is special content that you will enjoy. Uh, let's see. I look like Jack Black. <laughs> um, when war, when wartime, no electricity, no computers, gold, diamonds, etc., be the only currency. I don't think we're going to get quite to that point. I don't think we're going to get to the point where the internet is shut down. I, I don't think that's going to happen. It might get dicey, but I don't think they're going to get it completely shut down all around the world. Craig, how do those quads and calves feel after? a good two hours of stair climbing. I, I feel great, I, and I do go up and down the stairs for upwards to two hours, no problem. I don't even get winded. Um, I do feel a little bit in my knees sometimes, you know, that I am getting older, and when I was playing a lot of tennis, sometimes I would feel it a little bit in the knees. Uh, but generally speaking, uh, I can do that, and I don't really, it doesn't really stress me. And I, I kind of laugh when I see people when I'm going in and out of buildings or something and I'm going up the stairs and they're using the elevator and you know I'm going up like one flight of stairs or something to wherever I'm going right and they're they're going up like one flight of stairs or something but they go up the elevator instead right and I'm like you can't even walk up one flight of stairs I mean I'm like I'm sitting here going up and down for literally for hours right I don't know how many flights I do right and and they can't even go up one I mean it's pretty freaking amazing uh how people just let themselves go uh do you recommend getting married or staying signal single i think a couple of marriages is 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 a good idea if you have a nice strong prenup and it's the right lady um i i think it's okay to to go through a few marriages um yeah if you can get out unscathed no no reason not to you're going to have fun with it i mean i can't i can't i can't say anything against it have a good strong prenup though uh excuse me chip wong is 6'2 and looks like a, a greek statue but i think he uses steroids <laughs> a lamont's in the house dudes i hear okay perfect i missed you lamont is in the house uh brett says are we not going to darkness uh this is into the light um okay keep the wrenches down boys let Lamont play <laughs> darkness is in the past <laughs> after playing a uh, goalie in ice hockey I really felt it in my hips at 20 oh no uh, do you think people who don't have virus need to wear a mask everywhere I wouldn't wear a mask I mean I think it's ridiculous <laughs> I think this whole thing's a total freaking scam, if you ask me. I mean, you know, it, it's it's ridiculous. I mean, <clears throat> when all is said and done, 
what we're probably going to have is a situation where about the same number of people die as in a bad flu season, right? And people say, oh, well, if we didn't shut everything down and keep everybody in their houses, it would have been a lot more people. And so right now, the stats that are coming in are, are challenging that, are showing that the death rate is about the same as the flu. This thing spreads faster and more people get it faster, but the rate of people dying is about the same as the flu. And it, the people that are dying are mainly people that are older and that have pre-existing conditions. And if we had personal responsibility in this country, then those people would be taking care of themselves, right? They'd be staying away from people that are infected. They'd be taking precautions to not get infected. And then if they don't do that, then that's on them. That's on them. <clears throat> so I don't get the whole thing. I, I don't get the whole deal of, of the greater good this is what the socialists always say is for the greater good we're going to do this this and this and we're going to take away all your liberties we're going to take all these steps because it's for the greater good i don't care about the greater good i care about me and mine and that's the way it's supposed to be we're supposed to have our freedoms life you know to pursue life liberty and the pursuit of happiness right it isn't supposed to be about the collective about everybody that's what's called socialism is we're worried about everybody so we're going to take care of everybody that usually doesn't end well and it usually doesn't work okay so this is all a, a, a power grab it's all follow the money follow the people that are getting rich off of this and you'll know what's going on with all this thing anyway that's my rant for the day it's a total freaking scam we you know we're going down that road, though, and there's nothing we can do about it. We're going down the socialist road no matter what. Lamont says, all right, I see people coming around to me over here. I spent too much time in timeout. <laughs> Marriage is okay with prenup, says Blue. What if you're married now and don't have a prenup? Uh-oh, could be a problem. <laughs> you can get a postnup if she'll sign it. You can get an agreement now if she's willing to do it. No time out for Lamont for now, but these wrenches are ready to smack down. <laughs> Brent, we still haven't seen that two-tone. Craig, my friend's ex-girlfriend asked to get back together with him, but since she's been gone, she had a child with another man. I told him to give her the wide berth, but he says she's a 9 slash 10. Well, there you go. Well, yeah, if she's all that and she's got some money and all, that's okay. But if she's broke, I don't know how well that's worked out. Brent's in the house, 100%, Craig. Complete fiat, <laughs> a PSY op. Uh, that's what happens when we have a fiat empire. She can keep whatever she wants. All I need is the dog, my PC miner, and my Grand Seikos. Cheers. Derek says, uh, we have not spoken about the day date enough today. <laughs> I showed some pictures of it earlier. Where were you? Be a serve. Tell friend, uh, don't take her back. Heard same story. I know, love, etc. But she doesn't because she didn't didn't work for her. She she looks for a wallet. Okay. Hello from down under. MD in the house. Try for a switch. Craig, uh, do you care about me? If I need some non-perishable beans, would you share? Oh, let let's let's look at that. Let's look at that. Okay, before we do that, let me see. What the heck is going on here? How come I can't go to the next picture here? All right, let's go back to the search. We're gonna sh we'll look at the beans. I'll show you the beans. Let me see if I can get this back in in the in the kilter here. Um, okay, I want to show you the bag though. <laughs> I, I do want to show you this first. Uh, <laughs> the Maxpedition bag that I showed you yesterday. And the goodies that are inside. Check this out. <laughs> Check this out. That that bag's inside of it, right? Look at the titanium uh, crowbar, pry bar. How cool is that? There's a camera in there. That that bag is inside it, right? Bag within a bag. Keep going here. That's inside it. 
those are inside it look at the flashlights <laughs> you think I have too many flashlights I have more now that that's from years ago I have a lot more now um, so yeah somebody says why do you have so many flashlights well I mean they're also batteries think about that uh, let's see totally agree Craig 21 uploads um, right with you Craig Brent in the house I think she sees him as a plan B provider. <laughs> um, you serve exactly what I meant. Forget about forget about it. Start a new life. There you go. Tim has a message retracted. All right, so beans. Let's get on the beans thing. <laughs> beans. Let's go there. You didn't think I would show beans, did you? Did you? We do. Hey, we stand by. We stand by it on this channel. We don't talk the talk. We walk the walk. All right. Check that out. What do you think that is? Let me know what you guys think that is. Let me know in the chat what you think that is. Uh, Tim says, Craig, what types of shoes do you wear? Hiking, running, casual dress. Oh, right. We will talk about shoes. Yes, we will. And, uh, all on a segue, LOL, perfect, says Peter. Try first, Rich. <laughs> Craig, you didn't answer my question. Would you share your beans with me? Yes, I would. You, you come here to the compound and need, and I will share. Throw that clip, th throw, th throw that clip on, Craig. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, I want to know we're friends. <laughs> okay, all right, what is that? Let me know. What, what is that on the screen there? What's pictured? Let me take another slide here. Check it out. Check it out. Check out those 20-pound boxes of beans. One, the top one is black beans. The bottom one is navy beans. Check that out. What do you think about that? Black guy beans. No, they were, they were just black beans. So uh, I, gave my wife, I gave my wife a wide berth when she eats beans. <laughs> I give my wife a wide berth when she eats beans. There you go. All right, check out this, uh, check out this dinner. Look at that. Look at that. That's sweet potato, tomato, avocado, chicken. Uh, let's see what else is in there. Uh, those are some hemp seeds on top. Now, sometimes I do uh, also put black beans in with that. But in this case, there weren't any black beans in there. But that's, that's one of my typical meals. What do you think about that? What do you guys think about a healthy meal like that? And here's the thing. Personal responsibility is a new counterculture. That's what Bree said earlier. And you think about these people that don't take care of themselves. They don't eat right. They don't exercise. They have sex with a bunch of people that are eat up with all kinds of STDs, right? They, do, they make all these poor mistakes, these poor decisions. And then they want us to pay for it. They want us to take care of them, right? Because they made all these terrible decisions, so they're inflicted with this virus because they've got all these pre-existing conditions. They're overweight, they're diabetic, they've got high blood pressure, they got, you name it, they got the condition. And so I've got to shut down my businesses, I've got to stay locked up and all because they made these terrible decisions. That's not personal responsibility, folks. That is encroaching on my freedoms because you made bad decisions. That's really politically incorrect to say that, right? That's a terrible thing, that, what I just said. What do you guys think about that? Terrible thing I just said. Carlos is in the house. I would give you some. I think that I have like 150 pounds of beans here. Wow, you're set up. Good job. Thanks. I appreciate that, Carlos. I do the same. Do you really see coronavirus as the flu? It, is that why 953 died in the UK in one day and why 7,000 have died so far in New York? Do you think that medical precautions are called socialism? Yes. Yes. When, when, when the big government comes in and tells us we need to do this, 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 and this for the good of everybody, and they infringe on our rights, that's exactly what socialism is. And where do you draw the line? At what point do, they, do these mandates that are good for everybody, where do you draw the line? 
okay? We didn't need government to step in and, and do all of this. We didn't need this. People can take care of themselves. If you, if you leave them to be able to take care of themselves, they can do that. But as soon as the government steps in and starts messing around with everything, they do more harm than good nine times out of ten. They're very inefficient at doing things. And now all these businesses are sitting there with their hand out, wanting money, and the government can't even do that right. They can't even give out the money efficiently. And they can't get the money to these businesses that are, that are literally shutting down. If you look at the death rates, if you look at the death rates, they really haven't spiked that much they're really about the same as they normally are. You normally would have 7,000 people die in New York in this time frame. That's normal. Now, you may have traded some, some causes of death. You may have traded some car accident deaths for, for the virus, but basically the, the number of deaths are about the same. And again, if people don't take care of themselves, why is that my fault? Oh, you're not compassionate and so on and so forth. I want people to have a good life. I don't want people to go through life overweight and, and ill and having to go see the doctor all the time and having to take all kinds of drugs and antibiotics and all kinds of stuff. I mean, I don't think that's a good life. Is that a good life for somebody? I don't want that for people. I want people to be very healthy and energetic and making things happen. That's what I want for people. Yeah, I don't want uh, big government. I don't want socialism. I'm not for that. Uh, but it, that ship has sailed. We're there now. Uh, let's see. Well, Craig, in World War II, we had to stick together, and there was some necessary government action. Ask Steve. He, he has firsthand experience. Well, there you go. I, I'm not so sure if, if I was in charge back then. I don't know that we would have ever been in World War II either, to tell you the truth. I don't know if I'd have ever been messing around with the Japanese the way we were and gotten involved in all that. I think I would have let them all fight it out and do their thing, and uh, they, they weren't going to come and mess with us. I think I would have stayed out of that too. I'm not, I'm not for all these wars and, and, and unnecessary bloodshed and, and all this stuff. So, But that's just me, I guess. Um, let's see. Uh, what is your dream Seiko watch and dream watch? Well, I mean, I love my 005 right there. I like my 231 that's on wrist right now. Absolutely. Grand Seikos, both of them. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, same she and I. I'm the opposite of a liberal. <laughs> Since we almost do not talk about watches, Thomas left us alone. We are messing with... Okay. People are sick, but post-mortem says COVID-19. To say it's a hoax or not, I would need to see how they die in hospitals. Well, here's the thing. <clears throat> here's the other thing on that. And what was I going to show you guys? There's something that, that you wanted me to show you, and I think I forgot to show it to you. But anyway, um, remind me if there's something I forgot to show you, but I will. H here's the thing about the deaths. Okay, here's the thing. If somebody goes into the hospital because they've got the virus and they have an underlying condition, let's say they're a diabetic or whatever, and they die, right? Did they die because of the virus or did they die because of the underlying condition? Okay. I think it depends on how they die and what happens, right? I think you could easily classify that death like if they if they had a heart attack because they had high blood pressure and they had a weakened heart already and they were in, in pretty bad shape already, then I think you could say that they died of a heart attack. Um, so, yeah, and I think a lot and and a lot of deaths are being misclassified now either way. I mean, some are being classified as something other than the virus but they were the virus, and some are being classified as the virus, but they were really something else. So it, there's a lot of bad data out there. There's a lot of misinformation. And, um, you know, imagine that. Imagine that the government is not good at doing things, is not efficient, and is not effective, and, and they, they make a lot of mistakes. Imagine that, right? This is why I'm not for big government. I think private industry does a much better job on most things that they do 
private industry generally ends up doing a much better job, and that's why I would rather this whole thing be handled by individuals and private industry and personal responsibility. That's something that we've lost track of is people are not taking responsibility for themselves and their families. They should be taking care of themselves and their families, and small communities should be taking care of themselves, and local government should be taking care of themselves. The big, cumbersome federal government is not very good at any of these things. I think they've proven that. They're not very good at these things. And so, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a mess. And, it's, and, and throwing more money at it is not going to fix the uh, fix the problem because they're too damn inefficient and, and they're just not good at these things. All right, so let's see here. Um, I would urge you to watch Jason Goodman on YouTube. He's been walking around all New York boroughs, not seeing what the media is portraying. Uh, we'd be speaking German if we listened to you, Craig. The Germans, and Japanese had plans to invade us after their conquests were finished. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> uh, that would not have en ended well for them. Uh, let's see. The problem is most governments completely botched the testing rollouts, so we don't know who has the virus or not. Well, yeah, of course they botch things. They're not good at these things, folks. Big government is not the solution. Big government, every time it's been tried, has failed. And, and people don't learn from, from history. It sucks not having sports on TV, but it's been nice having actual conversations with my family and friends to learn new things about each other. Can't wait to get back on schedule, but it, it'll be a while. Yeah, it's, they're doing a lot of damage to things, absolutely. You mean there's no piles of dead bodies at 21 up bowls? <clears throat> well, you know, when you <laughs> if you have a couple hundred people die and you put them in a truck you pile all those bodies up in a truck, obviously it's going to look like a lot of bodies in a truck. It's a couple hundred bodies in a truck, right? Yeah. But th that number of people normally die in New York anyway. The numbers are just not anywhere like they predicted. When they came forward with all these doom and gloom predictions and sold this, this bill of goods, to, to the leaders, to Trump and all these other people, they came forward with all these huge predictions of huge numbers of people that are going to get this thing and die, and, and a death rate of like one, uh, I, well, they said two or three percent in the, in the beginning. They said two or three people out of a hundred that get this thing are going to die. That, that was the death rate they were, they were hanging their hat on. And, it, and it's turning out that there are studies now that are indicating that it could be like a lot less than that, much, much lower rate than that, a rate, a death rate more akin to the flu, like one-tenth of one percent or something, a much, much lower number. Shoes, that's what I was going to show. Thank you for reminding me. So anyway, once again, we've been lied to and we've been scammed and nobody cares, and we're going to be back to normal, so it doesn't really matter. Well, when I say back to normal, back to a growing government, uh, an overreaching government, taking away our freedoms, taking away our rights, incrementally, a little bit at a time. That's what they do, and they keep growing and growing and growing because we need them to help us. We need them to save us. We can't take care of ourselves. We need them to do it for us, and they're so good at, they're so good at doing that. Right? They're so good at things. So we're going to let them do everything. We're going to let them take care of everything. They're so good. We'll see how that all works. Okay, quality footwear. Shoes and boots. Let's pull it up. That's what he asked about. Shoes and boots. Let's pull it up. All right. Let's start with some, some moccasins from Townview Moccasin Company. And these are the Old Main Classic Comfort. And these are deerskin lined. And they are super comfortable. I wear those every freaking day. Every day I wear them. They are fantastic. Fantastic. And that was taken in 2015. And they are still in great condition. By the way, Brianna has a pair of those that she did a review on. 
And those, the gold cups, I wear occasionally, but not as often. Those are, are Sperry gold cups, and those were not made in the USA. They're one of the few pairs of boat shoes that I have that were not made in the USA. And there's another pair of gold cups, and I don't have those anymore. I actually gave them to a friend. And those are my Limer mountain climbing boots, Peter Limer or Limer, however you pronounce it. And those are the customs that are, are made to measure, and I love them. And I have a detailed review. And those are my Vasque hike, hiking boots, uh, and those are nice. And those are uh, Ralph Lauren, uh, Telford, I believe. Those are made in the USA. They're very hard to find because they don't make them in the USA anymore. So they're very hard to find. There's the Vasques again. Keep going, keep going. And those are very rare, a pair of Timberlands that I found new old stock. And those are made in the USA and very, very high quality moccasins. See the solid brass eyelets and see the detailing in those. See the layers of leather. Um, very high quality, very hard to find. Those were new old stock, new in the box. Um, okay, so let me catch up on the comments here real quick. But I see what you're saying. People need to be accountable for their life, health decisions. Yeah, that would help. That would help a lot if people took these things seriously. Everyone is jumping on the virus bandwagon to get money, et cetera. The Democrats are making it much worse than it is because they know Trump will win 2020. And all they have is Biden and want a, the economy to crash. Absolutely, they want to crash the economy. Uh, because then they can also expand government. And, and put more programs in place. And they've already said that this is a one step towards the Green New Deal because nobody's driving in their cars and all, and the air is a lot cleaner. And so now we can just keep everybody at home and we can clean the air and do all kinds of good things. People are not good at personal responsibility, Craig Ship. That's why the government has to enforce personal responsibility. That's correct. They've gotten to the point where they're all a bunch of pansies and they can't take care of themselves. And it's partly the, the public education system, the government schools, have basically taught all these people to be victims and to blame everybody around them for anything that goes wrong, and and that's where we are at. 40 or 50 years of that, and here's where we are. Um, so let's go back to this one. Um, uh, let's see. Strippers are losing the most money, but porn websites are doing great. Uh, in Australia, 50% of the working population has been put on a job keeper payment paid by the government at 1500 per fortnight. It's crazy. Uh, moccasins, the same as loafers. Similar. Uh, Echo shoes are good, but don't know you have them in the U.S. Yeah, I have some insoles that are made by that company that are really cool. All leather. Uh, that are nice and I think I might have a pair of echo shoes somewhere moccasins and loafers are different okay well some loafers can be moccasin style construction I'll talk about moccasin style construction here in a moment what makes a moccasin a moccasin Peter C sadly the w the word and force is the key Cre create a sheeple society and become a a conformist dependent I use Bellevue military boots for yard work okay now, if you look at these shoes that are on the screen right now, you'll notice that the leather comes up from underneath the foot and wraps around, and then you have that stitch stitching right here around the toe, at the top of the toe. See, that's, that is what makes moccasin construction, is the leather wraps around the foot and up to the top, and it's stitched here. So the leather basically cradles your foot, and that's what makes them so comfortable. And this particular pair, has two layers. It has this layer here and this layer here. So it's two layers underneath your foot, wrapping up underneath your foot, and makes them exceptionally comfortable. Okay? And so let's go on. And look at the, let's look at the quality of the stitching and the construction of those. I mean, it's very hard to find anything like that today. You almost have to find new old stock. Okay, and there's a pair of Vasque boots after I treated them heavy-duty hiking boots. I do a lot of hiking here in the mountain. 
And there is uh, another pair of those uh, Tedford um, Ralph Lauren shoes. And that's an old pair of um, Sebagos, I think. Yeah, Sebagos. Made in the USA. There's another pair of Sebagos made in the USA. Older pair. And there's another pair of uh, Timberlands. Again, made in the USA. <clears throat> And another pair of Timberlands. Another pair of Timberlands. Those I also bought new old stock. And there's an old pair of Timberland boat shoes. Very comfortable. Same other pair. And, and there's a pair of uh, Sperry, the Made in Maine collection. They brought them back and they started making them in Maine several years ago. And they did that for a few years and then they stopped again. So those are kind of hard to find. They're called the Sperry Made in Maine collection. So I bought several pair of those uh, before they stopped doing it. And there's a pair of uh, ostrich boots. And there's another pair of uh, Made in USA moccasins. Let's see who made these. Um, these are or Orvis by uh, Gonkey Shoes up in uh, Missouri made those. So, okay. Anyway, I've got videos on my channel for the shoes I have and the talk about them and the moccasin style construction. And my gosh, if you get a high quality pair of Russell moccasins or or any of the Timberlands or the, I'm talking about old school made in USA, you get a good pair of those and you will love it. Your feet will love it. Uh, let's see. If you get another 36 millimeter day date, what color doll are you going to get? What markers do you like? Sticks, Romans? I would go with sticks and maybe a black dial. If something legible. Something as legible as possible. Of course, they don't offer that now in the 36 mil. They do offer a nice black dial on the, um, the 40. That is pretty interesting with the pattern on it and all. forget what they call it, honeycomb or whatever. That's really nice. Dudley has one of those. They're pretty cool. And you are in the US and you are in the USA in Spain. We reached a point where public health services was doing sex change surgery to illegal aliens. We'll get there here. We'll get there. Um, can see the quality on all that footwear. Absolutely. Quality is what counts. Uh, Carlos, Spain has been on the brink of collapse for so many years. Triforce Rich. Good Friday and happy Easter to all. Thurston Howe the third in the house. All right, we're gonna I'm, I'm gonna take one more look here. Um let's see if I can find uh any more interesting photos here. Um hmm. I just showed all of these. I don't think there's anything new in here. But again, I've got individual videos and and also group videos of like my 10 best shoes and, and all that. Just search shoes or Made in USA. I've got a whole Made in USA playlist of, of high quality clothes and goods and, and things like that. Um, let's see. It's true. I hope be wrong but I'm very pessimistic about Spain in fact I am going to continue with the process to get Panamanian citizenship just in case they become crazy good shoes are overlooked because of how they look a lot of health issues can be avoided if folks didn't always go for unsupportive fashion uh, sneakers personal responsibility and the sneakers they smell I mean, I, I wore sneakers for you know, tennis shoes. I bought high-end tennis shoes to actually play tennis. But other than that, I wear the high-quality uh, moccasin-style construction shoes all the time, and I love them. And I got a rotation. I've got quite a few pairs, so I rotate them. They never get smelly or anything like that. And, of course, keeping your feet clean and your toenails and all that, keeping all that clean helps a lot with, with food, foot odor. But... Uh, tennis shoes are, are just not a good way to go, I don't think. Did you get any Easter eggs? No, I didn't. Uh, good Friday and a happy and healthy Easter to you and yours as well. Absolutely. Hey, guys, a bit late to the party. Sorry about that. We're getting ready to wrap up. <laughs> Next time you're in SD, hit me up, Carlos. Um, 
old stomping grounds for me. I guess San Diego is talking about. We can go to Phil's. There you go. Uh, starting today, a Grand Seiko SBGA 231 will be added to my EDC. Nick in the house. Cool. Cool. Absolutely. Hey, if you haven't bought it yet, buy it from Steve. He's a good guy to deal with. Cheat Town. Carlos, do you think uh, Catalonia might be first to go? Okay, I'm not sure. Still got, still got all the ties, Craig. I have a lot of ties. I have a lot of ties. Hey, Carlos, I've worn out one or two ties, you know, where they start actually the end. They start, like, literally wearing out. But most of my ties are in pretty good shape still because I have a big rotation. Uh, Nick, thanks. Where did you buy your 231? What are your favorite socks? Um, when I'm wearing, just going out walking and stuff like that, I just wear like the athletic socks you buy at like Costco. But then I also have dress socks that are like just the gold toe socks. Uh, and most of them are older back when they used to make them in the USA. I don't know where they make them now. Sometimes the elastic eventually goes in them, but usually they hold up pretty good but i don't know what you buy these days i don't know if they're you know there's a lot of junk out there a lot of chinese crap I tell you if, if if it was up to me <clears throat> i would cut china off completely i would give the companies that are having stuff manufactured in china including apple computer i would give them notice i'd say listen you've got six months to figure it out to get factories elsewhere preferably here in the u.s because we're going to cut them off. I would cut those suckers off at the knees, those Chinese. You know, we're worried about this virus. Well, then deal with it. Deal with it. These things keep coming from China over and over again. They export these viruses to the world. Okay? Over and over again. When is enough enough? And, and them stealing our intellectual property and selling us a bunch of junk. As far as I'm concerned, 99% of the stuff they sell in Walmart is total junk. I wouldn't buy it. I wouldn't set foot in there. I have no interest in the Chinese-made crap. So I would cut them off at the knees. Okay? How's that? How's that for some rough talk, folks? What do you think about that? <laughs> what do you think about that? Let's hope... Uh, more production moves to the West after the crisis. Yeah, that's what I was just talking about. What are your favorite socks? Okay, we already talked about that. Uh, Catalonia cannot go without being approved by the rest of Spain. There's no sense of Catalonia and Spain, neither Spain without Catalonia. Okay, uh, we can meet. Okay, uh, would love to meet with you all. There you go, Chi Town. Uh, Hey, I'll take you to the best wineries in North Italy when you come across the point. There you go. I agree. I agree with Craig, says Blue. There you go. Carlos, nice. Maybe we can get Craig out here and do a meetup. There you go. All right, we're going to wrap this puppy up, folks. I think I've said enough controversial things here today. The big government people, they don't like hey, They don't like when I, when I challenge their big government ideas, right, that the government can save everybody from themselves. They, they don't like when I uh, challenge that. They, they get their back up a little bit, these liberals. I have a liberal friend of mine that, you know, he claims he's a conservative, right? <laughs> but he's liberal as all get out. He's like everybody else. He thinks, he thinks that government is doing the right thing. They're doing the right thing. They're saving people, right? Give me liberty or give me death. Didn't somebody say that once? Give me liberty or give me death. What happened to these to this country? When did everybody become a pansy? Oh well, that's what happens. Um, did you ever get your day date service? No, I did not. Nope. It was 19 years old when I sold it. Never been serviced. It ran great. Didn't need it. Uh, let's see. I like A S S O S S socks. Best sports socks made in Italy or Swiss depends on. Okay, cool. Good to know. All right, folks. I'm going to have a really cool dinner. You guys do the same, depending on where you are. Maybe it's breakfast time, but uh, eat 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 healthy. Take care of yourselves. Personal responsibility, folks. And caller says thank you for the stream. It helps these times. Everybody be healthy and safe, please. Yeah, but I got a little bit radical on this one. A lot of, a lot of the uh, big government types are going to be, 
they're going to get their back up on this one, but it is what it is. I'm for small, weak government and strong people. That's, that's the way I, I see it. Everybody, carry on. Thanks for watching.